everyone, this is Villain's Man, bringing you our Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition game, The Ancient War of Reborn, Session 23, I'm your DM, JBD. Hey guys, I'm Evan the Great from the Villain's Man, playing yours truly, the elven uh, bard, Luna Silver String, uh, currently on fire. Hey, I'm oh, a bearded wonder sure. with the Villain's Demand, and I'm playing Vesper North, the Moon Elf Rogue. And um, I'm not doing too bad right now, you know. I got a cotton myself, some furs, some food, got my girlfriend back. It's pretty good. I'm smiling playing Ward Whitehammer. I'm the only one that did not cheat. And I'm West <laughs> playing Rolling Eye Ward, the Half Elf Drow Paladin. Okay, Smiley, you care to uh, explain what you're talking about there when you refer to cheating? Well, because the DM went to put the videos up on the YouTubes. And I'm the only one that didn't watch them. You can give yourself an inspiration for that. Thank you. Just in some metal. But to be fair, I didn't watch James. I guess it. <laughs> 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 yes, but I was testing everybody's metal to see what people were doing. So, but I don't want to surprise it. But at this time, there's one that's not posted, and you're lucky you got rolled out last. So, <laughs> and it just makes you look bad. This is based on what you said. Hey, hey, all I'm saying is, if I had more willpower, I would be fat. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that fantasy terms or real life? <laughs> what are we working here with? That's real life. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alright, so. Uh, um, I'm more than you're all in your individual cells. Um, as you last left off, uh, raise your hand if you're unconscious. Okay, raise your hand if you're bleeding out. <laughs> no, 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 you're unconscious. Someone here is bleeding out. Okay. I, I was gashed up yeah. a lot. Yeah, he was gashed up. Uh, I was dropped down a 57 hit point. <laughs> Raise your hand if you're comfortable. Fuck. <laughs> I'm in the worst situations. <laughs> I slept in tunnels. All right, so, um... Dreamland. You guys are all, uh... You're left in these huge cells made for giants. And, uh... They're empty except for you guys. You're round with... Bound by the eyes up to your knees. Uh, your hands got balls of ice around them. You can't seem to break them. Uh, you two are unconscious. Rolling, Luda, uh, or if you're pretty banged up, how many hit points you got left? Fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. Okay. Well, you're pretty good. Um, that was right. Yeah, because you kept it like shield, shield, shield. <laughs> I, I didn't get that last time. You just so, me up and yeah. like walked off with me. Pretty much, yeah. Um. So uh. Even for Vesper, who's uh, got it going pretty good, uh, you, it's hard to keep track of time here because there's literally nothing in your cell. Um, you can't tell if it's been hours, half a day, or a day, maybe two days, but it seems like you've been here forever. Um, or, or Roland Luda, roll me. Some constitution saving throws. <laughs> that is not looking good, buddy. Well, it, it's 16. It's about a 10 with my modifier. <laughs> okay. What do we got? Five. <laughs> Alright, so. Uh, well. <laughs> Are you having. So, Luke, uh, Vesper, you're sitting there, you're talking to Roustier, you're having. I guess uh, how the way everything ended for you, I guess you're still talking about such thing. Okay. Um, like I said, you've kind of lost on track of time. And then all of a sudden, the walls around you disappear. And off to your right, you see Luda, and she's smoldering. She's unconscious on the floor. It's only like Darth Vader when he's in the lava and he's burning. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't watch that movie once it's horrible. <laughs> it's I mean, a good lightsaber battle. So. No, it is a good lightsaber battle. Um, to your other side, Ord is beside you, and he's breathing deeply. Far to his other side is Roland, and he's unconscious on the floor. Your rooms Maybe. shift, and they become closer and closer together to you. Now, they're all bound. You're not. Right. What are you doing? Um. So basically where your cell has been like this 30 by 30 room, and it's like 
30, 40 foot high. It's all these rooms like this, and now they've condensed into one. Like literally the ice has shifted around and put right. you all in one room. Well, I can't do anything to heal you guys, but I'll go over. I'll go over to Ord. Can I, can I reach him? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, you're all in the same room. All right, I'll go with Ord and like shake him. He doesn't come conscious, but he's breathing deeply, he's alive. Okay, I'll go check on Luke. I'm, I'm taking a really, a really bad nap. Roll me a medicine check. The moment of truth. Uh, 15. Luda's alive. Barely. You can check rolling. Yeah, now we find out whether I'm alive or dead. Um. I mean, she is slumped over. The ice has done its best to hold her up. But, I mean, she's just barely smoldering. So. Her skin's blackened. Alright, so, so so what I said to the cult about Roland. Alright, so <laughs> I'm just gonna walk over to Roland and spit on him. Alright. And then just walk back to our boost dude. Not even checking him at all? Not checking him at all. Alright. Uh you gotta sell it, man. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta sell it. <laughs> um it seems like maybe an hour has went by to you, and you know, they're just all laying on conscious floor. Again, the ice parts. <coughs> but it's not this eight foot door that it's been. It's more like 20 foot. Jesus. And four ogres, just like the ones you had fought down the hill in the woods, they march in all carrying these massive great clubs, armored out and whatnot. You know, they've got the symbol. Now you realize that it's Cloud that was on Ord's armor. Behind them walks a massive giant. And he almost looks like the ghost of the temple of the Arma. This is Blagothus. And uh, he comes, he just kind of looks and he's, and he just shakes his head. The ogres are guarding the door, and he's just looking down at all you. He's like, well, it seems one of you has managed to uh, be on good terms with Resmir. Yes. He said, how did you manage that? My fight was never with the cult, but with the Centaurum. He says, uh, explain. The Centaurum, they, they killed my family. And I was just traveling with these guys to help them because they promised to help me if I helped them. And uh, how's that turned out for you? As you can see, not good. He did look like a pal against their will. Again, he shakes his head. Um, speak broken giant. Mm -hmm. And uh, he tells these ogres to uh, get them to their feet. And he raises his hand up. When he does, ice shoots around all of them and it lifts them up so they're standing. And these ogres begin to roll, like rub this gold ointment all, all over them. And you see the scratches on the ward begin to heal. Luda's charred skin turns its normal hue. Rolling all his electrified shocks on his body begin to heal. He don't want to than our front. Yeah, I, would, I always imagined, yeah. like, you know, being dry, that's how their hair would work, you know? They'd get all frizzy. Um, you three come to, and uh, as you guys do, you see these three ogres, one each of you, back away, and before you stands this giant cloud giant. Or do you realize his armor matches the armor you were wearing? Uh, you open your eyes, you kind of blink, you see him. He said, you, dwarf, where did you get that armor that you had on? Oh, do you know very well where I got this from, Kinslayer? Uh, you say that, 
You guys can all roll me an inside if you want. <laughs> Draw one. Uh, looks like Wes has got a three. Well, uh, 13. That's a two. Um, <clears throat> Vesper kind of makes sense being the person that's out here, like, remotely <laughs> in, uh, injured here. You realize, uh, you all see that he gets angry when you say this. But you were kind of watching him, Vesper, and you got a good grasp on the situation based on what it happened to you. And you kind of see when, even though there's anger, there's a bit of sadness in his eyes when, when we're calling out on this. And he says, I did no such thing. Uh, it's without the Aragon. And he says, how do you know my child? I spoke to him in the temple of the old father. Uh, he looked shocked when you say this. He said, you a dwarf in the temple of the giant gods. Uh, how? I walked. <laughs> Uh, you see some of the ogres, they go, <laughs> they laugh about this when you say this. <laughs> and he just kind of bends down and he backs and going into the wall. And they all stand at attention real quick. He said, your mouth will get you nowhere here. You see what it got you before. Uh, hey, I was being honest. Um, anybody else? Nope. You got anything to say? No, oh. that same attitude. You're the aid the very reason uh, why the old father broke the ordinary to begin with. He said, what did, what did they tell you? The, the uh, giant pine has run complacent, and the water and the aged water is returning. Tear mat is rising. Uh, no one's got anything else to say. Well, no. He's doing a pretty good job though. He so, is. He's kind of like um, in leadership on this part. He tell you, yeah, he is. He's actually took a big step forward here. At this point, basically, it's like watching him as he steps out and does, you know. Um, he tells you, he said, yes, and sadly enough, not all John kinds aware that our enemy is coming back to the world. He said, but you, a dwarf, and three elves know such a thing. He says, that is what's wrong with our kind. Uh, the whole world's gone crazy. If uh, everyone's caught in a crossfire and wants it to end. He said, not everybody. There are those of us who have a plan. Aiding your enemy. He said... Betraying your son. Um, are you trying to be intimidating? Persuasive, trying to get on his good side here. I'm trying to appeal to the father. Okay, then roll me a persuasion. This person. A little better. <laughs> 16. All right. Not that bad, much better. Um, he tells you, I understand what I did to my child, and I regret every moment of it. It was like a fit of jealousy. It was my fault. He's like, but I mean to do right by him. He says, it disgusts me that the dragons plan to take over the world. And he's like, and I aim to do something about it. Insight. Insight. So much insight. Fucking <laughs> uh, Actually, that's 11. <laughs> I got a six. Oh, yeah. shit. Anybody else? I'm times? confused at this. I'm just like, what the fuck? Mm. Ooh, 24. Not bad? Nope. That's why I'm like, I don't want to ask you. Then why do you let them stay here? Um, who got above a 15 on the inside? The one person who's not talking. Um, I would I'll talk on that inspiration. Gently. <laughs> yeah, obviously, I would say so. Um, 23. Tells you, uh, do not take their side. He's like, they're foolish enough to be on this fortress I found. It's like, millennia ago, this fortress waged war on the dragons. They know not of it. Said, tells you, I can take care of them. 
But just in case you should know, I'm serious about destroying the dragons. He said, you may not believe me based on what you have found. Yes, I'm over my son, but I have taken it upon me to do what the giants asked of him. Bro, I will speak up and say the path, the path of redemption is a long one. He said, hard journey ahead. And he said, trust me, I have all intentions of redeeming myself. He said, but can you imagine dragons, the nerve of them, thinking that their queen will rule the world when giants used to call this land their own? It's pitiful. Do I, uh... With your insight, now that you're talking to you, you believe he has all intentions of, like, battling your I was going to say, I use this phrase for my insight about 23. Yeah. Do you believe okay. such a thing as well? This is where we That's what exactly what I was about to ask. Do I feel like he's lying to me or holding something back? No. I tell him that's not I think but he's going to die if he tries to do that. He says, he says, and what, you, all five foot of you, you lith elf, do you think you can do such a thing? Or, or such a thing. Can I hide enough? I, I tell him, <laughs> no, I will not. They have a dragon on board this ship. He will kill you. He said, the beast is dumb. It is no problem. So, it's tell me it's a white one? He says, yes, it's an idiot. Hmm. So are you an ally? The most of the phone. <laughs> he said, he said, that is not for me to answer, but it's for you. He said, I have no reason to ally with you. Mm-hmm. He's like, but obviously, Resmir does not like any of you. He said, we can come to terms, or you can be sacrifices. Mm-hmm. I don't really feel like being a sacrifice. He said, said uh, obviously, you have nothing to worry about. Oh, trust me, I do. Do they have any other slaves with them here? He says, none. He said, all here are fanatics. They all worship Resmir. Glazelle in the bottom. They're all fools. He said, I outnumber them four to one. I see your plan. What's his name? Lagothus. I see your plan, Lagothus. You wish to have your enemies close. What was the other podcast? Huh? Huh? No, the one we He says, he said, oh, that for Elf, you're not as dumb as you look. He's like, he's like, but I plan to bring my enemy closer to my allies. To Melstrom or someone else? He said, not to Melstrom. Says to Iron Slag. Uh, Do I know that name? Anybody got history? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Roll it. No, I don't. Oh, man, oh, one. I say, oh, yeah, I know, too. Hey, 20 at oh. least. Oh, that's 20. Yes. I have to add plus 4. 23. Can I use my luck feature? Okay. I hit this. Do you guys have uh, sure. a proper fish in box? Do I get a man that's called Metals in the name? <laughs> no. Little oh, Iron Slack sounds like an awesome metal band. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> so, hmm. That must be where the fire giants are from. He said, you know of Duke Zalto? Surely, right, if someone as you showed up at his doorstep, he'd crush you. I'm going to lie and say I do. Can I roll history on Duke Zalto? <laughs> no, because if you don't know Iron Slag, you don't know Duke Zalto. Oh, damn it. Why don't you roll history now? I think you really know. <laughs> that is a 16. Um, he believes you. I roll two. So, so yeah. how are you going to look at my check? <laughs> <laughs> I tell him, the dragon got really angry when I told him the fire giants dug up metal that looked like the sword Raspberry carried. The night storm. You talking about the dragon below? No, no. Rasmir got really mad when I told him about the fire giants. I said, "I think I poked a nerve. I like your plan." You say that, and he says, "You take me for a fool. I seen everything." Um, I'm trying to agree with him now. Good job. <laughs> yeah, we had blue up on you right there. He watched every interrogation. Oh, he, this castle. Yeah. <laughs> he just knew you lied to him about what he said. Damn. 
<laughs> hmm. He said, so, he said, I plan to take the cultist to Duke Zalto as a token to an ally. He said, together, we'll destroy the dragons and make sure TMS stays in the hills. I want to ask him if if anybody's listening in on the conversation. He says, no, the castle conveys my every command. He said, only Resmir has control of the ice, and it's only because I allow it. I don't care. I won't run. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, then I'll tell him, uh, can he guarantee that me and my friends will be able to get out of here? He said, I can guarantee you nothing. He said, depends on what you do for me. What does he need? What's our proposition? Okay. In unison, we all ask. Okay, first, besides Ori, who's already rolled me a persuasion, I need the rest of you to roll me persuasions. Hey, now I don't have a negative, though. Look. Plus six, and it's not even a single. Twelve. Uh, fourteen. A ten. Well, and it's only that made the 15 mark that we needed. One. Yeah, you fell by one. Um, he tells you, I plan on leaving soon. They're gathering their treasure. And once everything I know of is on Skyreach, he said, instead of taking them to their destination, I head north. What are you going north? To Iron Slag. To the Fire Giants. I saw the servant in what he said. So is there any way you can get our weapons back to us? We'll he stand said, by your side. He said, your weapons are mine. Nope. Okay, so can you get them back to it? He's, um, he, okay, here's the thing. You failed your persuasion. To I'm just asking a question because he's got this plan. He said, I need to know what I can gain from you. Look, the only, my only purpose in life, my very vein of existence, is destroying everything involved in that bloody ass fucking court. And make it so the mother of a fucking worm stays in the nine bloody hells until the day she fucking finally fucking rots. Says, Dwarf, I like your fire. If you could Zalto will appreciate such a passion. If you could promise that I get to see the blue half dragon. He cuts you off, he says. You are in no condition to offer any promises, nor will I offer them to you. You are at my mercy. You failed your persuasion. <laughs> he said, Dwarf, my son's armor. I, what did he tell you? That you killed the two slady in the temple out of jealousy, and that he could not rest. He asked us to bring him justice. He tells you, with what you know, do you stand? Do you still seem to bring me to justice? Is that your wish? Justice has to wait till what what needs to be done. Roll me another persuasion. I will give you advantage. Well, twenty-four. Oh wow, you need a no twenty-five. You need a twenty. <laughs> um, he tells you. If the gods want it, he said, I shall stand trial for my crime. He said, but in due time, maybe you will possibly learn the sacrifices that I've made to reach this point. And I'll start to be glad to get to get to safety once. Do I still feel like he's still being truthful about this? I don't know what I mean to answer. Sixteen. You can give me an advantage on that. 19. You believe that he is. You might be having a little second thoughts now, considering he's gotten very mouthy with you. <laughs> Tells you to be his ally, and he got flippy, so, yeah. So, weird well, thing. You don't need allies. You're in there. You're at his mercy. Did he tell you why he killed his son? He did. He admitted it was out of jealousy. It was out of jealousy and rage. He, was, he said he would stand trial. It's a pretty high roll, too. You better be lucky you roll a bit on it here. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't think you'd have gotten that. Because I was like, it's going to take a looter to get that. And, well, there we go. 
Hmm. Um, he's still waiting for what you guys could do for him. Especially Vesper and Roland. I mean, you've not talked very well. Hmm. It's going to take me a minute to think. We back. fought the I really don't know what I could offer him. I don't have anything other than my own service, and he. I don't know what I would offer him a blade if you had it. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to offer it to him because he'd already have it. Yeah. I'd, I'd offer him like something, but I don't really have anything he'd be interested in. He want information. I don't have anything on me. <laughs> no, no, you, man, you got furs and everything. Investors living it up here, and you guys are. Yeah, but I don't have blade of a thousand cuts, or <laughs> and you guys are ice to the floor and stuff. Hmm. I tell the giant. I have a question. Are Morgan's heart? What? Did that, didn't that like sink in? Mm-hmm. So it's no living inside of you. So is it still? You don't wear it. So it's still on us, right? Yeah, it's just a gold chain that's around your neck. It looks just like a gold chain, is all. Okay. So is that still on our person? Mm -hmm. Don't you do that. Don't you do it. No. I told the giant. It's a big sacrifice, but if it gets yeah, on our side. Does, uh, so you believe your plan will succeed and we will wipe the cult out? He said. We attack now. I don't want to know what I can offer you, but I can say I want to destroy them myself. I told him he, he I, waves his hands, the ice dis disappears around you. Yeah. And then he raises his hands up, and all of your gear is at your feet. It comes through the ice. He said, you promised me you wear the armor with pride. Always. Yeah, basically, yeah, that's all we can offer is to fight for him. They may not be the most tactful people in the world, but they are solid allies, good friends, and reliable when, when it counts. There's things you guys could say you just are not thinking of it at all. <laughs> and then you've already started to get on his good side. Yeah. You just need that key thing here. Yep, that's what I'm saying. here. If, if he's in your bag of holding, he was, he was grabbed by an ogre. Oh, yeah, then I mean, he's here. I'll just tell him that I understand the loss of family. Even if it was by your own hands and jealousy, redemption can always be found. You also sacrificed your mother to chase the cold. Yeah, I've, I've talked to him about, you know, how I sacrificed my own hunt for my, my mother from this entire room to help my friends. Roll me another persuasion. Because of what you said, you gain advantage. Oh, thank you. Hopefully this is good. <laughs> it needs to be good. Oh, okay, nice. Okay, <laughs> okay so 18, um, minus one. <laughs> no, no, actually zero now. No, 18. Nice. What you need was a 15, he tells you, says, I understand your loss. He said, my wife gave her life to give this castle life. She is what you stand on. And he waves his hand, and the ice disappears around you. And he raises his hands up, and you remove the ace gears at your feet. Oh, not the same thing. He said, your thanks is not needed yet. There's much to be done. That's what I said, I'm strapping on gear. <laughs> I'm just strapping him on gear. I might be on. You are the only person that could <laughs> probably use that to get close based on his wife. I don't want to step on this guy's toes, but oh boy. Well, he, he's heard our <laughs> interrogations already. And I ask him, is there any way that we can let both the, you know, or what's the thing, uh, Harshnag Harsh know what's going on? It says, who is Harshnag? Frost Giant took us to the Idle of Father. That's how we got in. He said, why would any giant tell you of the eye of the All Father. Such a thing is sacred to our kind. Well, the All Father blessed us. Yeah, most of us. He was trying to figure out why it was broken. Only someone else would have said that. Right. We, we were <laughs> <by> <laughs> there, there, he just hit it. He just hit one of them, so. 
You're taking everything away from the other guys. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> Continue on. I was like, kind of I tell you, but it was, <laughs> he brings in there because he was trying to figure out why it was broken, and it led us to you. But now we find out that there's that you're an ally and not an enemy. He tells you the oracle spoke of me. Uh, I yes. spoke to the oracle of you. That's what I spoke to your son. He doesn't say anything. He looks at you, and you just can see the sadness in his eye because he's got it already a good idea of probably what you asked. And it was to get here. Yeah. That's where he was. Like any time you mention his son you see that it just upsets him. You watched our interrogations. You know I'm completely against the cult. And our <clears throat> our uh Plus, his blood to the objective seem to be <laughs> the same. He tells you, uh, he said, though true, says, your order would seek to oppose me. Possibly. He says, I see no possibility. He said, did you not count your leaders as allies? Did you not say they're in water deep already? Yeah, I spilled everything. Not by choice, though. Well, this is a mind wipe, too. He, and, uh, he says, true. He said, for the most part, you did show weakness. He said, the dwarf, strong. I agree. And he'll look at best for the elf. Smart. I can to save my friends. He looks at Luda almost. <laughs> <laughs> I took the bitch's finger. He tells you, but you. I look around. Is the finger still on the ground next to me? Mm -hmm. No, they healed it. <laughs> uh, uh, he says, but you did show great courage. Like I said, Blake took the point of stupid. Um, never speaking of the this, smartest one of us, Luda's like, she don't want to, she goes, wait a minute, they have your wife on this ship. I, I, her. I know, so did I. They tried to use her to get me on their side. Hmm. He said, tell me, this weapon, I've, I've seen the red wizards both carry one. I pull on um, Mary. Out of my bag. Hey, the thunder cannon. Um, looking at you, you kind of looks at you skeptically because it's small compared to him, you know. I can make a little one. <laughs> <No. laughs> Do you say that? Say so you got a forge? <laughs> when I notice he gives me my true nine for size, he goes, give me the forge, I can make a big one. <coughs> it's true. What's well, useless if he can't use magic? Um, can blow a hole through a dragon. Roll me persuasion. With advantage. 19. Alright, he tells you 20. if you personally can forge me such a weapon, he said, I'll return the items to the rest of your allies. And he said, and when I steer the ship north, you strike. <coughs> But I just destroy the cold nothing will please me anymore. Um He tells you there are four rooms you should worry about. He tells you Resmir has a room to herself. He tells you the red wizards have a room to yourself. They carry both your weapons. Hilda and Matilda. Can I ask him a quick question when you're talking about the Red Wizards? Mm -hmm. I want to ask him how many are there. Tells you two. Two. They're the ones that were me the most. What was one that interrogated Miss Nan? I know I spot up. That is. Uh, 
Rath Modar. Not so damn, what the f Which one was on the carrot? Tells you he Close sees he says us border. He seems much more capable than his counterpart. Wait. Kind of was not another level, so I guess kind of spell. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need it level. He tells you He tells you the undead elf in the blue tower. Right? The undead elf. That's in I know in the old dead. tower. The old tower. Yeah. Blue yeah. tower is important. He tells you in the old Oh I know something about that, but I yeah, old I tower? Uh, I kink. And then he tells you there's in the worm in the bottom. The dumb one? Only the one. He says, for the moment. He says, once, once Skyreach moves, I cannot promise you that others will not come. He says, surely they will send out the message. We can, is there any way, anyway, we can get a message out? Can, I told the giant that I can send messages just thousands of miles with magic. Roll me a uh, persuasion. Hey, persuasion is one, two, three, four, five, six, nineteen. He tells you, could you get word to Duke Zalto quickly? He wouldn't have to know Duke Zalto personally. He thinks I do know him. No, I'm saying that to you. <laughs> yeah, he does think that she knows him. Like she deceived him. And he's asking because to know, oh, you that said that you knew him. <laughs> Before I and then you turn around and go, like, <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, hey, see I thought you were saying that you knew of him. Yeah. yeah. yeah I Not you knew him no personally. Yeah, that's what you should personally. Personally. I thought you meant no of him. Yeah. yeah. I don't personally know the guy. Yeah, so. yeah that's, I, I kind of say, like, I have to. No, I have to physically meet him, not just knowing. Uh, he tells you, then what use are you? <laughs> you know, tell me I can send all the call to an ally. I said I could send but all to allies Push that it. could help Wait, us. Jofnar. Who's Jofnar? Storm Giant. He wants an interrogation. He seeks to, he speaks, he seeks to front the king of the rule, the Storm King. Where is Jafnar? He's got all about his own people. He was returning to Milston the last he spoke to me. And how can you contact him? He gave me a he gave me a stone. Oh yeah. Um, they I'm asked me who and oh, where, but not details. He uh, with a wave of his hand, negates the magic in the room when all your equipment is now magical. So now my wooden sword just turned into a um, spare, so I'm like, yes. <laughs> he tells you, go ahead. I cannot promise you a comb, but I can try. Alright. Oh, he's still not upon us. Yeah, you're still upon us. Right. I will send, I'll put out the stone of Sydney and send a message to Jofnar. Okay. For that words. Alright. Lagothicus attempting to thwart, thwart the cult, pretending to be ally. Need help. No. Hard Leading them to Zalto. <laughs> would you be able to lend aid on Skyreach near Parnas? Um, He's actually one of my words. Okay. Uh, after a couple of minutes, through stone here will reach you as soon as possible. He said, Where is Zalto? I will throw the stone. Need directions. <laughs> he really well, we know, we Zalto. Know where Parnas. well, no, actually, he would know where Zalto, Zalto is. Yeah. But he does tell you, We'll be there as soon as possible. I will. Tell Bacacus, Zofnar is on his way. I do not know how long it will take. And you did say he was a storm giant, correct? Yes. He says, says, is he from King Higaton's court? I know not for certain. I know he seeks to King Higaton. 
I, assuming that he does, he said his honor will come through. He said I have no doubt he will be here. Y'all want to go the other giant? The other Alice? Uh, I actually think. First night? Yeah. No, he doesn't know. No. He does not know first night. Yeah, as a side note, I don't care. I told y'all, fuck Clap, we have better friends. <laughs> I was completely against the people. That's all right. <laughs> Hold up. Turn around. Look. I was going to if he knows Zephyros. Zephyros? Zephyros. He does. He says a strange one. Be like, maybe he could aid us. He will take no part in the war. Yeah, he seemed very neutral. He said, uh, he tells you, he's a bit thrusting fellow. The one works in very weird ways. He goes wishes to keep his hands clean. Um, he does not care if our kind rises to the top of the order. He said, but if you had met Zephyros, then you must be important. Something else somebody could have said to get I say that as one of my Yeah, but you, yeah, yeah. you two are saying everything you need to say. Yeah. And you came to us and us some. Yeah, he gave us a ride to water deep. Yeah. So. They, they already know that. All right. So, <laughs> trying to speak, so. Because like it's what he's saying. Apparently, obviously, you might think they already know that. <laughs> well, he did say this or was smart. So, I mean. Yeah, <laughs> very true. Where should my message of sending go? Is the question that's where they get hit once near I don't know. Read I don't think it's got a. No, I mean, um, I don't like to Should I send one to Leosin or should I send one to uh, one of our other allies? You better let him know you're sending it to somebody. No. If he sees you casting a spell, he might beat your ass. Yeah, he's not. You know, <laughs> so. I'll tell him that. Uh, Evan's got on his good side, just not as good as you guys. Okay, so he's. Roland's one still in the shithole. <laughs> he was saying, uh, <laughs> Sorry I forgot like the order right. would want to bring justice to him and all that. They don't really know about him. I never told him, told him about them. But who says he doesn't know about them, though? Well, what I was getting at is, uh, I, the only thing I really think of to offer, is minuscule, but it would be to offer to speak for, speak for it on his behalf to Thea and Salazar and possibly ally with him. And fight together. Okay, here is the uh, issue I felt. Here, here's the issue I have people that. that they don't care about. <laughs> well, <laughs> that, and I'm then just, when you're interrogating, you guys are like, they're more worried about the giants than they are the dragons. Did he must actually say that? I don't um, know. But it's true, though. Because, it is true. It is because true. I didn't want to tell them that. I wanted them to think they were fucking, like, on the like, edge of the so, I mean, <laughs> I, I will let you roll that, but he already knows that. And it's because of Vesper. Basically, I'm offering him the aid of an army. So, so um, a small army. You can, oh, you can roll persuasion, but he already has an army. Yeah. You have ogres. Yeah, <laughs> forty-three of them. Hey, oh, yeah, the fire 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 Boy, you I just my last luck point on the cover. Half the diary. Wrong diary. Wrong I got it. Some Ooh, that's worse than the other I bet you it's well, hard to say no, all this stuff. I don't think you probably would. So, wow, he went from four to three to two. Man, he really hates rolling now. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> hates rolling. That's the name of this episode. Everybody, Everybody hates rolling. Can I help? Can I give you aid somehow? <laughs> Everybody loves rolling. <laughs> all right. So, Luda, you're wanting to send a message? I, I'm going to send a message. <laughs> and I tell him, I know you've never heard of Harsh Nag. But I feel like he would be a powerful ally if he could but get over have a way to get tips. But he's looking for king. Yeah. But he's looking for the guy we're talking to, ain't it? No. No. He's looking for the king. Oh yeah, he's looking for the king. And plus, my son might have his own person. I still want to let him know that we found this guy, and it's not what it. Well, it is what it seems, but he is. But he also on the same side. W- was with us when we found your going. So Harsai like, might have his own prejudices against yeah. him. Yeah. I don't know. He didn't take that quest though. You ain't gonna help us bury the guy. No, I'm talking about. No, he, he didn't take take on the quest to. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You took that upon yourself. Yeah. yeah. Well, specifically me, but maybe I shouldn't send a message because I sent one to him, but it you might cause. Cool. I don't know if this guy's gonna let me send it to Leosa. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you can ask. I don't know anyone else we can send it to. You can send it to the Harpers. Ask it to see if he would want to ally with the Harpers. He's I mean, technically, we could send the one to Cloud Guys. 
But that's going. I don't think you like that. Whoa. The who? I'm out here. Yeah. Right now. No, who did you say? The Klaus guys. I can't remember. Oh yeah, that thing. No, that thing in them. Yeah. Good. But I don't like the the ships aren't gonna be useful unless they send word to Klaus. Like Klaus. I don't see him as an ally in any shape or form. Yeah. He's doing this for his own gain. I tell him about me being a Harper agent. What? I'm like, I don't know if you've ever heard of this, man. but I was he's trained right. by the Harper agents and they can maybe help us if I can message them. Yeah, he's a metal guy. He That's said, that was fun. they are against the cult. <laughs> he says, a group of spies. It, it rolls with a group of information seekers. They could have What skills in battle do they hand me? They might have to be able to give you information to give you an advantage. He also uh, invisibly is capable he thinks so. Just roam me. You've got your you've yeah. been doing your persuasions, do it with advantage. Sweet. When you're if you you're, you're gonna get on the hips out here. You can do this. I got a plus uh four. So you sitting on that glands up, that'll oh. the fuck out. I got a plus six, so fourteen. Ah, uh, you're off my one. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. I tried to I'm gonna hey. I have a well, model. I'll one. just kind of be like, you know, a network of spies isn't a bad thing to have. He said giants have no need for spies. I know a capable wizard, but I don't know if he'll be able to get to us. Giants are pretty fucking powerful. He's the one that taught me magic. <laughs> he looks at you. Veros and Ost. Mm. They're with Roskin. Uh, he kind of thinks it over. An elf, by the name. Hi. Tells you. What need do I have for elves when one cannot talk, one fumbles over its words, <laughs> and the only one that is smart is the only one doing anything of sense? He said, what is wizardry to the strength of a giant, to a giant's skill? Um, I'm not trying to compare them to you, I'm saying that they could be a I see him throw blasts of winter that chilled a green dragon to the bone. He's probably... he said, what does the chill of winter do to a worm of light? He has fire and lightning and a giant's probably just as powerful as any regular thing okay. they will ever have. Because certainly you can cast six level spells. <laughs> There's two red wizards on there, right? Yeah, there are two. Does anybody remember where Varys said he was? I know exactly where Varys is. Is he a red wizard? No, he's lost him. So is he opposed to them? He's at the host tower, isn't he? Everyone opposes him. Everybody opposes the red wizards. Who's at the host tower, isn't he? The cult opposes them. Yeah. <laughs> Except for two of them, they oppose red. That's kind of the deal that they worked the Later, I will. Worked out. Later, I'll try, I will try to contact him. So, you're going to try to contact him later or now? I don't think he's going to allow me to do it now. I think I, so. I, what's going on? If he doesn't, won't help, we're not going to force him. Yeah, so yeah. I'm just going to, I'm just going to tell the giant I'm thankful for, you know, him allowing us to aid with him. Yeah. And he's in good hands and we will carry his son's name in honor. He is now part of the Greensfield Company. He laughs. Good hands. You told me that and you were captured. To be fair, it took all of you. To be fair, it took Tanisha to always to pick me up. I was the last one to be picked up. He tells me, so, you were the, he right, says, I it was one of us, I didn't either. <laughs> what, he said, when I take off, what is your plan of action? Uh, how long is it till I'm slow? Um, in this place, maybe three days. I mean, do you, should I mean, we, we should all attack on the same front, right? He yeah. said, he said, no, the cultists are spread out through the entire place. Then I just told you where their leaders were. Okay, what is so... What is He said, I have no forge. If Razmir goes down... This, he tells you, this is a battleship. Right. But if Razmir... Everything needs a... If Razmir goes If we kill Razmir, then they have nobody to follow, so their ranks just kind of if fall aside, right? If we attack too swiftly, it'll draw attention to what's going on before we get that. And he, and he tells you... The white dragon cares not for Esmir. What of it? Could could your ogres? They're very strong. Mm -hmm. They could kill it while we kill Esmir. <coughs> we attack one on each side. If you cut the head off of the snake, it dies. He said so. To sacrifice my own troops when, when you are when you're at when when I have you. No, 
No, you don't still have contact with Cloth? Say what now? Say why sacrifice my own troops when I have you? We can't be everywhere. We can attack the, the, the dragon after after the right after the dragon shit. Well, they're in the rooms by themselves. The red withers and the rock. And we got two guys who can turn fucking invisible. I mean, killing Razmir is mm-hmm. probably yeah. the first thing we should do because then the Three. red wizards have no leader, correct? He said, he said, uh, I assume the red wizards care not for Razmir. They are here for their own intentions. How many cultists are on here? He said, a couple dozen. couple dozen. He said, the ogres can take care of them. Okay. He said, I also have allies here that are willing to help. It's off no, I agree we should take out Razmir. If we're go taking the cult to the five giants to help us to put it in a final strike, they can help us deal with the white dragon below. Dude. He said, I fear your Jofnar will not get here in time. I have I assume this will escalate quickly. I do have one it, question that once we're in it. It alluded it's me so earlier. Right now. But during my interrogation, there was another cloaked figure. Do you know who it was? He said no, there are many cloaked figures amongst the cult. I just assumed it was the, I would just assume that would be the undead elf you mentioned. That's what I'm thinking, but possibly. I was really hoping. Who is this undead elf? Do you have a clue? She stays in the tower. She does not come out of day. Is she powerful? She's like she fears my men. She fears. No, they, like, she puts fear in my men. Oh. I can say, damn, your man put fear in her. Okay, okay she easy kill this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I find the dragon so much simpler to deal with than wizards, to be honest. She looks good for the whole breath of the man. Yes, now, <laughs> with, I, I <laughs> was just kind of hard up, though. Yeah, I did I watch your videos, and I did notice that you had mentioned that uh, Resmir put off uh, another foul odor. Would I have re- recognized this as like an undead thing? Mm-hmm. No. Uh, you're just going to ask yeah. I, personally, <laughs> I personally have this thing that why I said Acreage. Acreage. I'm sorry. She acid. used, she acid. used acid. the red wizards to get that. I want to ask him, I'd be like, what do you think the best plan for attack is your... He said, obviously, to take out the leader. <clears throat> he said, the red wizards. I think said, I would be more concerned with the dragon. If you would allow it, when do you want to strike? We could go around. He said, as soon as I take off. So, so we, we kill Resmir. So you're saying we should just head straight for the dragon after? Said I believe so. He said in the air, not everyone can escape. Now you miss no still have half dragon tail, right? He says the blue is left. The blue is left. So the blue left with your friend. We need to strike. It's very for obvious on Holland's face that he's very disappointed about this because he wanted, after taking care of Resmir, maybe getting the. Uh, uh, so we should we should strike before he goes. What about Is that the one that left? Snurt. You said the one left with my friend. No, he's talking about more death. Your friend. Oh. Yeah, that okay. friend. Where's the little goblin? I just kinda see that. Mike. <laughs> Snurt's here. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not too me, he's an old friend. Yeah. yeah. Is he in the room with the friend? Yeah. Uh, That's why I got like morbid there, where it's like, Snurt's not here? <laughs> he's not important. So we, we he's have very enough, important. We have enough utility. He's been he's been hiding inside of uh, Rupert. <laughs> actually, that's where, uh, no, no, that's where he was before, like with the stone. I mean, that's actually pretty genius to have yeah. like, where his. So, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? We have enough utility, utility to get. kill Razmir and then go straight from the dragon. The cultist, once we kill Razmir. No, you have to take it to a little Razmir. They, undead elf. But that they may flee once we kill Razmir. That means they're not here. At least, yeah, but once they're gone, but it's, it's once they're they gone, we have time for Jafnar for Jafnar to come. If he, right. he could have told you, he don't think Jafnar will get here in time to fight these guys. We fight. But, we face Razmir first, and then the Thanes. If the Thanes have left us with Razmir's death, that's what we have to deal with. Then we go to the undead elf because I do not know a damn thing about her, and she needs to bloody die. But are we going to be in fighting shape? I asked the giant. To fight Once he leaves, should we fight all three of them? We have three days. Can he? I asked the, I asked the giant. Once he leaves, can he take the ability away from Razmir to use magic uh, this ice as an advantage in him? He says she can the medallion. So she, we can remove that. She can't do that. No. 
We gotta get the medallion up there. So we're agree the resonators first. He says, says, hey, I got says it. there's on an adamantium chain Mage hand, with a shard of ice. <laughs> I think that is. It. You're on magic feet! <laughs> <laughs> you can pickpocket it off for while he's wearing it with Mage hand. No. You can go invisible. Mage hand. Well, you, you can't use it as invisible with Mage hand. Oh. I can't the visibility he, on he him. Still fucking motherfucker though. I can get the visibility on him, and then he can use mage hand and get that off. Yeah. No, casting spell breaks. I assume that this. But is still, Rasmus first. Right? This, uh, and right. we have to get the medallion off of it. Huh? How do I feel? If we don't get the medallion off of her, she's going to put ice shards all around. It still says zero on my character. We'll get this. <laughs> if he can do that in combat, unless he's distracted. Okay. So your first thing is your attack, Rasmus. Yes. Yes. Second. I, I say the things. The things. I agree. Make sure they leave. We may not be able to defeat them, but we can at least try to get them. Now, which ones are they? No. The Red Wizards. Okay. And then. I guess the Undead Elf. If the we elf fight the dragon, dragon after anybody, we won't stand a chance. That's all there is. The dragon's going to kill us. Yeah. So, dragon last. Yeah. Because yeah. right. hopefully, like, within the next few days, we're going to rest before then. 